Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to explore high school years the way that I've been playing it. If you guys like this video, don't forget to do the YouTube holy prayer in the name of the like, comment, and subscribe, and you'll join my cult. <laughs> so allow me to introduce to you my Copperdale High School. I do believe that I recorded most of this build, so we will be seeing a video if I have the footage. <laughs> Attention students, welcome to Copperdale High School. Copperdale High School is a public school in Copperdale. Taxpayers will be happy to know their taxes provide quality education, exceptional courses to build real world profitable skills, and there is also plenty of athletic activities. Copperdale High's principal, Principal Prescott runs a tight ship and manages the school's budget. She makes sure when sponsors come to the school, they are welcomed with ambient lighting and, you know, like aesthetic colors and stuff. The budget, however, just never seems to be enough to hire teachers that actually want to teach, though. I mean, the faculty lounge could be a bit roomier. Other than that, Copperdale High offers an enriching environment for both mind and body and produces winners from both academic and athletic achievements. As Principal Prescott would say every morning over the speakers, the obedient student will gain more from Copperdale's curriculum over troublemakers. The benefit will outweigh any temporary high school pleasures. That is what she says every single morning. <laughs> She can be quite strict. We don't always stand that, but you know, what can we do about her? Anyway, let me talk a little bit about how I designed the high school. So I do believe that I recorded some of the footage of making this high school. If I didn't, let me explain a little bit of how I built the high school and what I imagined. So I played for about a week in the original Copperdale High School and I really enjoyed it. However, I really did want everything to be on one floor. I find that stairs, ugh, I love two levels on a house, but stairs just makes the students a little bit slower and it really sucks. I do have a second floor and I do have stairs in the high school, but for the most part, everything that's needed is on the first floor. Bathrooms, showers, the gym area, two classrooms, everything is on the first floor floor. On one side of the high school, we have uh, the second classroom, which is the original classroom. That one has like the older looking desks and the older looking chairs. We also have the principal's office and a little waiting lounge area. And our activity room is a skill room. So we have robotics, a telescope for logic skills. We have a microphone, guitars, pianos, painting. This is all for building skills that the students can profit off of when they're out of high school. And then on the other side, we have classroom number two. We have an athletic area with treadmills and punching bags and weight area. So we also have a shower over there. And this is where we also have the teacher's lounge. And then the activity room on this side is a library with some computers, uh, some chess tables, and of course, books. We also have stairs here, but it leads to nowhere. <laughs> so don't even try it. <laughs> and then we have our main hall that has our lockers and the students hang out. And we also display our trophies right as you walk in. The school also has a back area with two seating areas. One is more for studying. The other one is supposed to be for sitting down and having lunch. However, none of the students really gather out there for lunch. They would much rather crowd themselves in this tiny cafeteria. In the back of the high school, we have a basketball court, a full basketball court, might I add, that overlooks the big football field. We needed a basketball court. I mean, come on, guys. What, what school doesn't have a basketball court? I mean, for real. The school also does have a basement area, but I didn't put anything down there. And that's basically everything that's in my high school. In hindsight, I wish that I had made like a janitor's closet or places like that just, you know, for the kids to kind of sneak in and mess around and do their little fun 
pranky stuff in there, but alas, I did not. <laughs> Oh, in the back, there is also cheerleading mats for the cheerleaders. I really tried catering to everyone as much as possible. And the school is really big enough that I think I can still continue to add things as they come up if they need to. On the side over here, I will have listed all of the mods that I'm using. These ones are specific to my high school gameplay. There are other mods that I use that are, I guess, my staples like MC Command Center and mods like that. UI Cheer you know ones like that we all know you you know which ones I'm talking about the core right the core <laughs> mods with all of that being said I am really enjoying my high school I've been playing with it now for about a week and I don't think that I'm missing anything at least I don't think so it's serving my needs right now so with all of that being said ooh, there's my high school don't you just love it I love it <laughs> It's meant to look also really like a perfect high school because that's the way that the principal would like to portray it. Anyway, this is my high school. I love my high school, but what I love more than this high school is its students. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And if you'd actually like to see me play in the high school, then subscribe for more. Thank you.